Hi everyone, Cody here. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an update on my hydroponic system. And uh, to start with, I'm going to make up a nice batch of uh, hydroponic nutrients, which will be custom made for my purposes. Should have everything set out before me. I'm going to mix up a concentrated solution in this 2 liter bottle. You see, I've got uh, you know, the usual hydroponic stuff. And on my computer, I just got the calculator brought up, so I got a little spreadsheet here with the, the values I need. I just looked up the, the values for uh, you know the parts per million that tomatoes need in order to grow, and I figured it for 400 liters. So, <clears throat> start with. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and measure out the saltpeter. I probably won't measure out all of these. In fact, I probably ought to go through and just tell you how much I put into each of these. But okay, I got that teared. It appears for the potassium nitrate. Let me go over here. Potassium nitrate. I need 300 grams of it to make a 200 parts per million solution. Let's go ahead and measure out 300 grams of KNO3. That's 200. Alright, that's 307 grams. Let's just go ahead and dump this in here. Inside the bottle is just some uh, pure water, by the way. Um, Rainwater. I've been using rainwater for my hydroponic stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. What's next? Alright, I'll just go through and tell you how much of each of these that I'm going to put in. The uh, magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, I'm going to be putting in 200 grams of this. The uh, manganese chloride, some manganese here, if you can read it. I'm going to be putting in half a gram of this. Uh, zinc chloride, looks like three tenths of a gram, so I'll probably just uh, measure out like a couple of crystals. All right, oh, my computer, okay. Let's see what else we got. We've got, uh, oh yeah, all right, so the molybdenum, Let's go ahead and throw that in right now. I just got a couple of flakes of molybdenum oxide. Ooh. Yeah, they almost float. Amanda, do you have to do that right now? All right. Calcium. I've got plenty of uh, calcium carbonate in the solution, so I don't need to add any of that. I'm going to add five grams of ferrous sulfate. My solution's a little uh, basic, so I'm going to be throwing in about... Uh, that much of nitric acid. I'm going to be adding about a hundred grams of uh, this ammonium sulfate here. You know, uh, I figure I may as well feed the nitrating bacteria some ammonia. That, that'll increase the uh, pH as well. We've got some potassium phosphate here. Very nice. Oh, um, Potassium phosphate, I'm going to be adding, oh, HP, oh, there it is, 130 grams of this, and, uh, oh, copper, I've got some copper uh, nitrate in solution here, I've got it uh, concentrated out so that I'll add in uh, about five drops of this to make my solution. Got my salt. I'll add 15 grams of this, and uh, I believe that's everything I'm adding for now. I did mention the zinc. Yep. All right, so I'll get everything in that bottle, shake it up, and then we'll go and uh, some in the uh, hydroponic system. Okay, got most everything in. The last thing is the nitric acid. Look at that nitrogen dioxide there. <laughs> yeah, this is fuming red nitric acid. But uh, that makes the measurements easier, I guess, right? Aha. 
This is actually kind of cool. Take this brown color, you see it against there, and I'm shake it up. And that brown coloring should go away as the uh, water and oxygen in the bottle reacts with it to produce more nitric acid. See? Very nice. <laughs> This is my source of water for my hydroponic system. See, I collect rainwater off the roof of the shed here. It goes down in this barrel. Let's open this up. Let's just go ahead and uh, put the rest of the water in to make up the balance. Oh dear. And there we go. Put that cap back on. Got enough uh, concentrated hydroponic solution there to make 400 liters of solution. <laughs> okay, let's go put it in our stuff, shall we? Alright, here we are. This is uh, almost seven weeks. We're Probably about six and a half weeks in since I first planted the plants. See the cucumbers are still going nuts. Those ones over there, not nearly as tall. And uh, I think I do actually, yeah, I do have some cucumbers growing here. See, very nice. And I should have some tomatoes as well. And I think there's some ripe ones right down here. Let's tease them off the plant. No, those are right. Ugh, shoot. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> yeah, I've been putting up wire trellises. Sometimes it gets in the way. Look at that nice little tomato. <laughs> they don't taste that bad. In fact, uh, I think they taste much better than these ones do. There's some down there. But anyway, back to this. I'm actually running on solar panel powered right now. See, I got this little electric pump hooked up. Little 12 volt pump. This is the old pump right here. It's no longer hooked up. I think that's pretty cool because as long as the sun's shining, water's flowing. But anyway. I just put in about 40 liters of fresh water, so I'm going to add in 200 milliliters of this uh, solution. That's 200. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add this right in. I think uh, that amount of water ought to dilute it plenty so that the acids aren't going to bother anything. And I got enough calcium carbonate down at the bottom, it'll, it'll definitely buffer it. There are still fish in there, there's just a couple of them though. So I probably ought to add it kind of slowly, just to keep the fish from getting shocked with it. So I'll just add that much right now. I'll add a little bit later. A little bit more later after it's gone through. But anyway, there's that. I'll show you my solar panel. I haven't uh, built a good base for it yet. Still planning on it. And I also tipped it up so that the sun had hit it a little better because it's a little late in the day. My plan is just to set it over there in a fixed position. Yeah, you can see completely homemade solar panel here. I got the solar cells uh, broken for next to nothing. And I just glued them to a window and put a back on it. It's uh, 15 volts, about 40 watts or so. More than enough to run that little pump.
and here's my bee water. You can see I've uh, I've put in some of these uh, crystals, these water absorbing crystals. The bees do seem to like to drink off those pretty good. Certainly doesn't drown them. I've noticed the if you put like a, a block of wood or something in there, the bees actually avoid it. They'll, they'll go to the sides of the container. They don't like something that moves around. Also, it grows bacteria, so I like these crystals much better. Of course, I'll have to come in and pull the leaves out occasionally, but that's pretty much it. Alright, hope you enjoyed that little update. I'll see you next time. Okay, I forgot to mention that I added the uh, borax as well, because it needs boron. You can still see I put a little lump of uh, borax down there, and it'll dissolve. But yeah, I've got the, the filter and the pump all set up. Got my exposed wires all taped together. And you see how this water's flowing? It's overcast right now. Now you can see I'm looking at the sky. And there's the solar panel. It's actually got enough power to run that solar panel with clouds in the sky. I mean, isn't that so cool? Yeah. One last quick look at the stuff that I got growing. I mean, look at these tomatoes. I think the next time I'll do an update is when these ripen. But, uh, yep.